Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So today I have my Echeveria on slow uh, of which I am going to be separating its offset. You can see the offset is of a good and decent size. So let me just show you the size of it. So as you can see it is almost uh, a little bigger than 2 cm. So it's time to separate it uh, any which way it is getting a little congested in this spot. Uh, you can see the mother plant looks absolutely beautiful. The coloration is very, very beautiful. And uh, if I'm going to take a closer look, you can see this is where the stem is. So I'll be separating it very carefully. But before that, I will uh, quickly sanitize uh, the cutting blade with the help of hand sanitizer. I'll just put a small little drop on it. And then just clean the scissor completely so that there is no bacterial infection or any kind of uh, infection to the succulent so now very carefully uh, find the spot where you want to cut it's going to be little difficult because the succulent is almost covering the entire pot but over here as you can see this is where we have found the spot you can see this so this is where we are going to chop it off very gently that's it here we go now the mother plant can focus on its growth there is a bloom also coming up which i will separate it uh, maybe some other day but uh, you can see the onslow is looking absolutely beautiful it's in its growing period because it's an echeveria so our uh, pup is over here i'll take off those lower leaves so that uh, i have a good piece of uh, the stem i can even use this for propagation so we have and now there is a little bit of mealy bugs which i will have to clean so i'm going to take it away from the other succulents and clean it off you can see the damage that they have done so i will clean it off again i'm not going to use hand sanitizer on the crowd area because that will damage the plant so i'm just going to keep it aside and clear it off so i'll just go to the corner of uh, the terrace and i will clean off this succulent so we have cleared up as much as uh, the mealybugs from this uh, pup but uh, there is a little bit of scarring on it but that's absolutely fine as it when the plant will grow it will look uh, much better but we have cleared up as much as possible. Now I'm going to let this callus, I'm going to keep it aside. Most probably I'll let it air root and then put it into the soil. So as you can see it was pretty simple in this way you can multiply your succulents this is one of the method and I would say this is one of the most fastest method to multiply succulents because we already have a pup of a good size. If it would have been a leaf propagation it would have definitely taken a longer period of time. So now I will keep it aside let it air root and uh, let it callus and then air root and then I'll possibly put it into the soil. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.